Hello everyone, it's ShadowXXE here and welcome back to a new video. This video we're going to be reviewing the HP 22X gaming monitor. Without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. Alright everyone, so this is everything that came in the box. HDMI connector, monitor itself, uh, stand components, power brick and your warranty stuff. Now without further ado, let's get this monitor assembled and let's get to the actual review. And here we are everyone, here's my old monitor and my new monitor side by side. Of course my old monitor was 60Hz so you can see, ugh, on PC gamer like, but, wow, glorious. I really do like the colours on this new monitor, they're much more accurate compared to the old one. Much dip, deeper, richer blacks compared to this one where the blacks just look a, a bit grey to be honest. With the colour out of the way, let's get on to the ghosting test. Right, first test we have here is the ghosting test. Now, as we can see, there is very little to no ghosting on this monitor. It may not look like that on the camera, but that's because this camera only records in 60Hz, whereas the monitor is running on 144Hz, but very little to no ghosting on the top section here, the mid section, eh, a little bit of ghosting but uh, not too noticeable and the bottom section has practically no ghosting at all. So as we can see this monitor is very good when it comes to anti-ghosting technology. Now let's get on to our second test. Now on to our second test which is the ISO monitor test. This test for uniformity, colour distances, gradients, sharpness, viewing angles, gamma and response time. So without further ado, let's start the test. Right, here is the uniformity test. This test different grey tones and how uniform they look on the monitor. Now, to me, in real life, with the naked eye, this looks pretty uniform. Let's go to a different grey tone now. Pretty uniform as well. Very uniform there. I would say uniformity test is a pass. Now going to the colour distances test which, which tests the ability of a monitor to display very similar colours without them looking the same. So let's slide this all the way to grey and as you can see we have a very similar colour here however you can still distinctly see this square. Now I'm going to mess around with the rest of colours here but nope that's still distinct so I will give this monitor a pass on that. Now moving on to the gradient test which measures the ability of a monitor to blend different colours into a gradient without showing any discernible lines. Now I will say there is some discernible lines here that you can see between the different shades of grey and I'm hesitant to give this one a pass because it is definitely noticeable here you can definitely see these lines but over in the white section they aren't noticeable at all so I would say for white colours this monitor gets a pass however for greyer colours it does not now on to the sharpness test, which measures the ability of a monitor to display text without having a discernible shadow on the text. Now as you can see here, I don't see any shadow in these letters, there is none shadow at all, which means this monitor gets a pass for this test. Now we are measuring the viewing angles. These circles should stay the same no matter what angle we are at. If they change, that means the viewing angle is not great. So, let's go up. Uh, yeah, no, we can definitely see that these have become whiter. Let's go down. Oh, would you look at that? Mm. Yeah, the viewing angles are definitely not great, I will say because we can see discernible changes in these white circles. Now for gaming, that's probably not going to mean much because you're looking directly at the screen. However, for some other applications, this monitor might not be suitable. 
So, anyway, on to the next test. Okay, now we are testing the monitor's response time. The higher pixels per second a monitor can manage without being blurry means that the response time is lower. With that being said, let us increase this slider. Okay, we have noticeable blur at 1620 pixels per second. However, it really is not that much, so I'm going to increase the speed. Yeah, again, a little bit of blur at 1900, but nothing too serious, nothing that makes it look indiscernible. Increasing speed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just seeing that slight bit of blur. Again, it's not much. It's negligible in, in gaming, it probably wouldn't even make a difference. However, we are going to have to see that in our next test, which is the gaming test. For our gaming test here, I've loaded up Black Squad, a free-to-play first-person shooter. As we can see, it's running perfectly well. No ghosting at all. I will report to you back at the end of the game and I will tell you how my gaming experience went. So, the match has just ended and... Hold on. There we go. There's my results there. Now, I got a... Th I have 30 kills and a 11 deaths. So, not a bad KDR. Probably thanks to this monitor as well because it's got free sync, which means no screen tearing, and 144 hertz. Yeah, uh, on to the final test now, which is the speaker test. Right now, on to the final test, which is the speaker test. And I'm just going to give you that right now. Okay, that was the speaker tests. Uh, now, my opinion on the speakers, I think they lack bass. They sound a bit muffled, uh, but that's mainly due to their plastic housing. I wish HP would have thought that one through. Uh, they're a bit quiet as well. I wish they were a little bit louder. But, I mean, overall, they're fine speakers. I mean, most people that are going to get this monitor are probably going to get... Um, external uh, speakers anyway so it doesn't really matter but they're there if you want them and they're not half bad I mean they're not terrible but they're not the highest quality anyway that will conclude this test now on to my overall thoughts on the monitor right so now my overall thoughts on this monitor well I think it's a pretty good budget option if you're looking for a 144 Hz monitor and you don't want to break the bank now now there are some quirks and some well let's just say there's some there's some things I don't like about the monitor but obviously it's a budget option and for the price I would say it's definitely good i'll leave a link to this monitor down in the description if you want to purchase it anyway that's it from me for now if you like the video please leave a like leave a comment if you dislike it 
dislike the video, maybe leave a comment, tell me what I did wrong, subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.